Now this next comedian coming to the stage just wrapped a film called A Treasure of the West with director James Hickox. Please give it up for Michelle Lebrett. <laughs> survived my first homecoming. Yes. Well, I should say my parents' bank account just survived it. <laughs> For me, it was a homecoming. For them, it was a cash going. <laughs> Who knew you could take out a dress loan? And it even came with shoe and hair benefits. <laughs> oh, but this year, I decided just to go to homecoming with my girlfriends. Because if you go with a date to homecoming, there's just too many expectations. Like talking to him? <laughs> Besides, now that everyone's doing that whole matching outfit thing, my dress was hot pink. And there was no way I was going with a guy wearing a hot pink dress. <laughs> Speaking of hot pink, my ex-boyfriend was a figure skater. There's no way I'm dating someone who looks better in tights than I do. He ran track in Jimmy Choo heels. Oh. But the real reason I broke up with him because it was because he was like a spelling freak. I mean, he'd always text me back with these stars next to the words that weren't spelled correctly. Like one time, I texted him saying I L-U-V-U. He texted me back for the last time love is L-O-V-E. So I texted him back for the last time relationship is O-V-A. O-V-A. <laughs> oh, another thing that drives me crazy is my best friend's family. They are all a bunch of health freaks. All their food is low-carb, organic, and all natural. I'm sorry, but there's nothing natural about how fast that food goes through you. <laughs> oh, and one morning at breakfast, I saw her dad eating this thing that looked like some fish pancake. Two words that should never be mentioned in the same sentence. Where I'm from, halibut and maple syrup are not a breakfast item. <laughs> Oreos and Rocky Road, now that's a breakfast item. Another thing that makes me happy is my new puppy. It's like a built-in excuse. I mean, she can't even talk back. Michelle, your dirty socks are everywhere. But those are daisies. Michelle, were you up till 2 a.m. talking on the phone last night? That was Daisy. <laughs> Michelle, did you use up all my Chanel lipstick? That was also Daisy. She was going to meet the new hot collie down the road. They just put up a new hydrant on Havenhurst. Well, my favorite time of year is here. Holiday season, the time to be merry. Or as I like to call it, the season I wish my sister hadn't gotten married. Her in-laws are insane. It's a good thing I've done all those method acting classes because before they come, I literally have to lock myself in the bathroom and chant, feel the love, show the love, embody the love, and sing. When Sherry and Jeff arrive, they put pictures of themselves up all over my sister's house so they can feel like they're at home. But what they don't understand is drawing mustaches on Sherry's face helps me to feel at home, too. <laughs> and my brother-in-law's family is huge. My sister's house is really small. I'm sorry, but I don't think of the toilet seat as a fair seating arrangement for Thanksgiving. Brent's family is a bunch of wackos. His grandma Char is really sweet, but she's going deaf. And every year the same thing happens. I ask her to pass the cranberry. She hands me her blackberry. I say, can you please pass the yams? And she goes, we don't have any clams. But my favorite's Aunt Lindy. She's a school teacher, but she tells us every year that she's really scared of babies. Grandma Shar thinks she has rabies. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, you've been awesome. Have a happy holidays. 